hey guys, you have made the fantastic decision to do A Level Chemistry next year. Well done. This is an excellent, excellent choice. Now, I know I'm completely biased because I love A Level Chemistry, but well done. It's so interesting. So, so interesting. Um, but it's also hard. It is. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I try to avoid doing that. Um, it is hard. And by the time you have your first um, lesson, you are just going to have come back from a load a load of time off you're going to be maybe in the same school but maybe kind of like in business dress so it's going to feel the same but it's going to feel a little bit different in terms of the class size is going to be a lot smaller um i know i certainly am much more relaxed in my a level lessons we have um quite a lot of banter quite a lot of cake a lot of cake so pregnant oh my god i can't stop thinking about cake um Anyway, a -level lessons are different to GCSE lessons. They are a lot harder, they work a lot faster, and sometimes at the beginning of year 12, I see students that have relaxed over the summer, which is great. I demand that you do your very, very hardest to relax. Um, but sometimes students relax so much, they literally forget every single thing I've taught them at GCSE. And I'd say at least a quarter of the class this happens to. Um, and you know, we start A-level lessons like we started GCSE with the structure of an atom, because it's really important, you need to know this. And somebody will swear blind that protons are on the shells on the outside, and they'll be like, I've taught you GCSE, I've taught you since year seven potentially, and you still don't know where protons are. This will happen. Um, so, relax over the summer but maybe consider doing a tiny tiny little bit of work as well so to help you with this what i've done is i've made um some videos i've put them all nicely in order in playlist you can get loads and loads of questions in the book over my website just to help you not forget everything over the summer so this isn't like a complete list of everything in GCSE that comes up at A level. I've just picked a few topics and I wrote a book to go with it. And once the book got over 50 pages long, I thought, no, I should probably stop there. That's 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 more than enough work for them to do over the summer. So there's a few videos and a little book of questions. And the aim of this is to take the stuff you do at GCSE and just stretch it a little bit further. So this is basically all the extension work I would give my year 11s, um, the ones that I'd be hoping would do GCSEs, the ones I was hoping would be going to get kind of like those top top grades. Um, and then kind of like the easier side of the work for the A level. So it kind of sits in between GCSE and A level. Um, I've introduced one new topic to you but it's quite the easy new topic. And it tells you a different way of balancing equations, which once you get your head around it is much, much, much easier than trial and error. Um, talking about balancing equations, if somehow you've managed to get through your GCSE without being able to balance an equation, because I know some of you will have, you're not going to be able to do that at A level. Um, you have to be able to balance equations. Basically, everything you did at GCSE, and I'm talking about triple science here, um, you have to be able to do really, really well if you want to succeed at A level. So if you did double science, it would be really, really good for you to catch up on a few of the things that the triple scientists did that you didn't do. Or if like you skimmed over a few things um, at GCSE, you can't skim over them at A level. So relax, please relax over the summer. Please do your very, very get best to forget all those subjects that you're not doing, but the subjects that you are doing, a little chemistry, excellent choice, well done you. Um, maybe a little bit of preparation and that's what this playlist and this book is designed to help you do. Now if you want to do more preparation than um, the, the stuff that is in this playlist, I've nearly finished like improving, we're doing audio, we're doing the visuals for my a level videos and they're actually unlisted on the website on this channel at the moment. So you just have to put a teeny tiny bit of effort, go to the playlist tab, um, and find the videos that are black, basically. The ones that have a black background instead of a beige background, those are my A-level videos. They're all there, ready, waiting to be published um, once the A-level course starts. 
but if you want to do a bit more preparation than just this playlist there are other playlists just waiting to be found so well done your decision we are going to have a really really good year next year i have loads of stuff coming up for you um it should be good